one of the many Huck outfits. Guerrillas fighting in the hills, fighting to the bitter end of World War II. Selamat Maxi. Ini kita semua akan buhai. Walang ada banyak karting. Talakan kanya nanti makan. Kena mat kelangan makin buhai. Emas saya ni. Ibu timian. Maxi, anda tu saya di sepang lagi. Rak, mau bala, mau dinamit lah, mau beri. Bukan lagi. Meru kau mana terus makan? Bukan. Bukan lagi. Bukan lagi. Iwan nanti nanti akan pulak tayun ini. I owed my life to Maxi. Something I swear I'd never forget. Maxi was a good commander, one of the best. And he knew how to treat a man. And then the big news. Yes, Mabuhay Filipinas. The fighting was over. But for some who couldn't stand the strain, the struggle had just begun. Jesus was like a brother to me, a kid, a kid whose sister, Trining, I wanted to make my wife. We were going home, home to the same province. To this kid, to all of us, it meant a new life. At long last, the war was really over. We were going home. were friends and neighbors, kinfolk whom we hadn't seen in years. And this was the Flores de Mayo, one of our big fiestas. training. Ang pagkaumid ng dila ni Jesus ay bunga lamang ng kakilakilabot na inabot namin sa digmaan. Inakala ko kung matatanas niyang muli ang ganyang hirap, ay maring manumbalik ang kanyang pangusap. Si Jesus ngayon ay isa ng tunay na lalaki. Hindi na siya musmus ng katulad ng umalis siya dito sa atin. Talagang ganyan training ang digmaan. Ang lahat ay nagbabago. Nagbabago? Sa makatwid eh. Hindi ako nagbabago training. Ang katunayan ay... Eh, Walang pangusap na maring itimbang sa aking naging pananabig sa iyo. Ako man ay nangulila rin sa pagkakawalay mo sa akin. Yamang narito na rin lamang ko eh. Ibig kong ihatid ka na sa dambana. Oo, Karting. I wanted Trining to know what was in my heart. She was worried about her brother, about his having lost the power of speech. We spoke of the future, of our marriage and life together. And I promised that we would be married soon. Just as soon as I could get my back pay from the army. Sa makatid eh, tatanggapin mo na ang inyong bakoy bukas. Oo, bukas. O, ito man ang inyong binabalak na gawin. 
pipigilin ko ang kanilang kabayaran at ang iba lamang ang bibigyan ko ng konting halaga. Sa gayong paraan, ay aakalain nilang ang pamalaan ng hindi nagtiwala sa kanilang paglilingkod sa bayan. Mapupuot sila at ang salapi pag-ahatian na lamang natin dalawa. Hindi ko kailangan ng salapi. Ang kailangan ko ay makahikayat ka ng mga bagong kaanin. Yun nga. Kasama na nga yun. Kapag sila'y napuot. What I didn't know at the time was that Maxi, my former guerrilla commander, was planning to cheat me out of my pay. That he was building the groundwork for something which would eventually affect my entire life and the lives of thousands of men like me. Bukas ng gabi, ha? Sa Victory Bar. Diyan ka na. Okay. Salamat sa inyo, sir, at sa pumagita ng inyong tulong, eh, natanggap ko ang bakbay pati ng mga bata. Well, your unit received the biggest amount. Oh, you see, they really deserve it, sir. Maxi was one of the lucky commanders, for he had received the back pay due his entire outfit. Thank you, sir. Maxi! 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 Dali na. Oh, tuntoy! Pabuti tumating ka. Eh, alam mo, arreglado na ang back pay natin. O, okay. ito na. Eh, nga sana ay pinalito ko sapagkat kailangan ko ng kwarta para sa aking kasal eh. Okay, Tsaka isa pa eh, para kapag umpisa sa bukit. Ay, siya nga ba? Eh, oh. nais ko lahat. Alam mo naman eh, hindi tayo nagpapabaya. Eto, tumanggap ka rito. Nakalista, nakalista lahat ang pangalan nyo rito. Ano? Ayan. Maxi showed me the list. I was stunned at the amount he told me I had coming. But Maxi insisted that he would look into it for me. He treated me like a friend. Aba, Maxi, ano ba naman ang biro yan? Maka kay binibiro mo. Hindi ka ito binibiro, Karteng. Alam mo, baka sakaling magkaroon pa tayo ng reconsideration, kaya hindi ako magtitigil ng kalalakad. Tanggapin mo muna ito. Reconsideration? Oo. Eh, kailan pa? Eh, kailangan na ngayon. Maraming red tape dyan eh. Kung iinitan mo kagad ang ulo mo, lalo mo na mangyayari eh. Red tape? Eh, bakit nung pangailangan na tayo? Red tape ang kailangan. Kaya nakas mo masyad. Oo. Oh, Karteng, saan punta? Saan punta? Abe doon, sa red quarter, tatanungin ko sinong kailangan tanungin doon. Ano ang padre, napakainit ng kulo mo eh. Anong gagawin mo? Papansinin ka ba doon? Eh kung akong araw-araw ay -araw, eh, nagpupunta doon, eto lang ang natanggap ko. Ikaw pa, eh, anong gagawin mo doon? Walang mangyayari sa'yo doon. Eto, tanggapin mo na itong 13 pesos na ito. At kung sakasakalit may kailangan ka pa, baka sakaling matulungan kita. Alam ko ang kalagayan mo na, unawaan kita padre. Muna mo na ito. Ah, hindi na. Kailangan kong kwarte. Pilap sa'yo pare. Iniinitan mo ang ulo mo, mamaya magkita tayo sa Victory Bar. Baka sakaling may magawa akong tulong. Saka natin pag-usapan kung ano man ang gusto mo. Ito, kuha mo na ito. Hindi, yaman. Makakatulong din sa ito. O sa Victory Bar, ha? And insisted that we meet that night at a Victory Bar. In spite of Max's assurance that he would help me get my money, I couldn't really enjoy myself. I told him about training, about our plans to get married, about the farm and the folks. I wanted him to know that the back pay meant more than just money to spend, to have fun with. That it was going to help me find a place for myself. I felt out of place here. I wanted to get out, to get back to training. Maxi seemed to prove himself a great friend, for he not only understood my feelings, but insisted that I accept some of his money. I felt deeply indebted to him, not only for my life, but for his present help. He gave me faith and hope. For now, I could fix up the farm and depend on the money I felt he would get for me from the army. Alam mo, isa naman ang mabay para sa akin. Alam ko na, ibig mo sabi ka. Sige, minum na lang tayo, ha? Good luck, ha? With this feeling of gratitude, I left for home. If I had only realized that Maxi was planning to use me, that he had a list of men who would serve his end in time, if I had known then what Maxi really represented, 
things might have been different. Hi, Max. How about a drink? I missed you. What a place to meet. Can't take any chances. Not now. Did you spot our men? Yeah. Good. What about the rest of the contact? They're ready to move. A lot of big names in that group. If they are found out, our coast will break us. Old party members? They take back before the war. When you and I were fighting in Shanghai, they were the leaders of the party then. The day we fight out in the open, like the days of Shanghai with guns, manpower. That's what I'm working for. Take it easy. Meet me later. last guy I expected to see here in the Philippines. I thought you were killed in the Shanghai front. No such luck. They saved me for the fighting over here, on this front. Hmm. <laughs> you in the hills? Why not, comrade? Maybe I can't see well enough to handle a gun, but I've got a weapon more powerful than guns and more lasting. I can teach men to do the fighting. Yeah, I know, but you are not a... A Filipino? <laughs> you know better than that, comrade. What's the color of my skin matter, comrade? Party has key men all over the world. A true communist has no country, no race, and no religion. You know that. I know. He serves only one cause. The revolution. Pakita mo sa kanyang listahan ng ating mga bagong kasapi. The new man? Yeah. Ah. At magbot ngayon, ang yung tungkulin ay humanap ng mga bagong kami. I'm telling him that we are organizing a new hook army. Ah, good, good. The Central Korean is now ready to build and support an army. An army? May dapat niyang malamang ito yung matagal ko nang ginagawa. And by the way, Mac, I'm ready for the real fight. Kung gusto mong show him how it works. It's simple. Get enough men to lose faith in their government, make them fighting mad, and teach them the party line. The time is right, Maxie. The people are sick, tired, they're confused. The time to strike is now. It should work. It's got to work. We had been planning for years. We'll train a new army. 
Not just how to use guns. But we'll give them a reason to use them. A real kind of reasoning. A real communist revolution. We'll turn the land against them. Their own people will grow to hate them. Listen. As long as we can get the people to think they're fighting for their rights, our cause will keep growing. Hmm. You think the war is over, comrade? Well, you're wrong. The party is planning, building. If we can't win by peaceful means, build on hate, fear, use force. Remember that. Because that's what we're going to use now. Force. tayo maring magsimula. Ang lupa ay tigan. Mapagyayaman natin itong muli. Magsumikap lamang tayo. Paano? Wala tayong salapi. Wala tayong katulong. Pa, paano walang katulong? Nariyan ang kapatid mong si Manuel. Ang kapatid ko si Jesus. Ako. Matindi yung pag-asa, no? Sapat ang pag-asa ko para sa ating dalawa, aking mahal. Matatagal ang pabago kung makuha ang aking pakpe. At kung tayo ipakakasal ngayon ay... Ay magkatulong tayo sa gawain para sa kinabukasan. Matutuwa ang ating mga magulang. Handa na ang lahat. Magkapiling ay bubongkalin natin ang lupa. Magkatulong ay... Muli nating pasasaganain. Nalalaman mo bang ang kailangan natin ay salapi upang masunod natin ang ating mga nais? At iyan, iyan ang wala tayo. Ipagpapatuloy ko ang pagtuturo ko sa paaralan at sa ganyang paraan ay matutulungan kita. Hindi. Kung tayo makasal, yan ay aking tungkulin. Ang maghanap buhay. I wanted to wait. Ang to wait until the back pay came in and then get married. I wanted our marriage to be secure. But Trinning insisted. She wanted to share my life, my hard times. She wanted to fight for the future together. It was a hard decision to make, but I knew she was right. I knew that we belonged together. That in spite of everything, we should get married. We had waited a long time, and so the decision was made.
Ah, salamat, Padre Tony. Pero niya itong mga tao ibig sumayo doon. Mabuti doon na kayo tumugtog. <laughs> Nasisiyahan ka ba, Mrs. Bautista? Oo, Carding. Ang inaalala ko lamang ay kung ang buhay natin ay laging ganitong masaya. Kung ganitong lagi tayong magkasama, ang lahat ng sandali ay pawang kaligayahan. Uy, wala kayong dalawa. Ay, nay. Nay. Mga anak ko, dito na kayo ako ng bahalang kumatindi sa mga taong natin, ha, sa mga bisita. Ibig yata magpaalam ni Padre Reyes, eh. Uh -huh. I think that on the day of our marriage, we were the happiest people in the world. And as is our custom, the whole barrio celebrated with us. Yes, this was our happy day. A day that Trini and I would always cherish and remember. Everyone was happy for us. Even the town Padre wished us luck and gave us his blessing. Mr. Fargas, a local businessman, promised to help us get started with a loan. We felt lucky and confident in the future. Yata, wasto ito, Carding. Wala na ba tayong ibang paraan? Kailangan pang pirmahan ko pa ito, anak. Wala nang nalalabing paraan, inay, kung hindi yan na lamang upang masaka natin ng bukid. At yan naman ay matutubos natin sa pagkakasanla, sa unang pag-aani pa lamang. At kung sakaling hindi, pagtanggap po inay ng back pay, di bayaran natin sila agad. Ano pa ang dapat ninyo ikatakot? Akala ko pa eh, napakasunduan ninyo isang na yung bukid na yan, hombre. Kanya ako na parito. Para sa akin eh, walang ano man yung lupang yan. Ang nais ko lamang ay upang... Mr. Fargas was a businessman and was willing to lend us money if we put up the farm as security. Mother's lifeblood. Her only possession was this piece of land. And she found it hard signing the agreement. Manuel, my brother, felt embittered. He was against using the land as security. He felt Fargas was only after our land. Fargas, resenting this, walked out on us. Ano ba nangyayari sa'yo, kuya? Nalalaman mo kailangan kailangan natin ng salapi upang maipagpatuloy natin ang pagsasaka sa bukit. Ngayon ang kinalit mo si Mr. Fargas. Saan tayo kukuha ng pagbili ng binit ng kagamit sa bukit? Ano ang gusto mo? Matuyot ng tuloy natin lupa? Bayang matuyot. Subalit, mananatiling atin ang lupa yan. Atin nga. Ngunit kung walang tanim, anin natin yan? Pagtsagaan natin. Pagtsagaan? Kung ganito wala tayong kwarta? Hindi kwarta ang kailangan natin. Ang kailangan natin magpatuloy rin ang pawis, sipag at pagtitsaga. Sa ganung paraan, magtatagumpay tayo. Magtatagumpay? Cardin, ito lamang ang masasabi ko sa iyo. Tama ang sinabi ni Manuel. Kinakailangan pagtulong-tulungan natin yung bungkali ng lupang yan. Sapagat yan lamang may pamamaan ako sa inyo. Kung yung isasanda ito eh, at saka kung ano man ang mangyari. Ano magiging kinabukasan nyo? Aba, kayong bahala eh, Nay. Ako ay wala nang pakialam dyan. Tutalin nyo ang lupa. Ang kuya masyadong marunong. Pus kayo na. Ako ay huwag na nyo ibilang. Ang mungkahi ko, sa araw na ito, Karding, ay bubungkalin natin ang lupa. Ano, tutulungan ba ako? Oo, kuya. Tutulong kami sa'yo. Hindi, Tuning. Ang nais ko ay siyang sumagot. Ano? Tutulungan ba ako? Manuel was for making the land pay by hard work. But I insisted that we needed farm tools which only money could buy. Manuel left the house in a fit of anger. This upset mother and confused me. For mother was willing to do anything to keep us together. Hindi ko akalay. Sa kaprasan lupang ito yung humantong pa sa pag-aalitan ninyong magkapatid. Greening tried to make me understand.
Pumapayag na. Eh, wala po tayong magagawa eh. Kailangan, kailangan po natin ng kwasta. Maibili natin ng pataba at binhi. At mga ngailangan pa tayo ng traktor at ng patubig. Isa na, napakatigas po ang lupa eh. Kasi po eh, napakatagal din naman hindi natin natamla yung bukod na yan eh. Ang sabi ni Carding, eh maaari tayong pautangan ni Mr. Pargas ng madalian. At yun naman eh, mababayar natin sa unang pag-aani. Uy, ano naman daw yung sulat na dumating kanina? Tarantan-taranta si Carding eh. Ah eh, yun ho ay tungkol sa kanyang back pay. Meron ho isang opisyal ng kirilya na sumulat sa kanya at ang sabi ay maaari na niyang tanggapin. Ah, ay salamat naman sa Diyos. Kung hindi man sa ane, eh maski sa back pay, mababayaran natin yung Mr. Fargas na yan. Much later, I received a letter from Maxi informing me that he would come to see me soon about my back pay. I rushed to Pargas to ask him once more for a loan. Manuel realized by this time that we did need help. He explained all this to Mother, who was happy in the realization that Manuel and I were now of the same mind on the matter. Mr. Fargas's terms were hard. He wanted payment within three months. We agreed, for I now felt that my pay would surely come through on time, and that with the right farming tools, we could reap a good harvest. Mr. Fargas, tell us how we can get our money. Bukas. Bukas na bukas, we can go to the kitchen and we can get our money. What time? Ah, what time is it? Yes, what time is it? Oh, yan na kayo. Huwag kayong mag-alalay na ay.
We had lost everything. There was nothing we could do. There was nothing to say. Nothing but to give thanks to God for delivering my newborn son safe and sound. And for guarding over my wife, who was now a mother. For this, I was thankful. Napasal kayo, Mr. Fargas. Carding, mukhang nasalanta ng lahat ng inyong pananim. At sa tingin ko, wala na kayo naanihin. Meron pa naman o siguro. Ino siguro aming kakanin, pero yung aming babae sa inyo, eh yun ho ang napinsala. Ngunit huwag kayong mag-aalala. Siguro ho, eh, makakapagsimula kami magtanim muli. Saralong madaling pa lang ho, magtatanim kami. Hindi, hey, ginaramdam ko, hombre. Hindi ko na kayo maaaring bigyan kanyang pakakataon. Mr. Fargas had come to get his money. Ikaw mga abogado, pagdala ko ngayon. Ikaw mga kaliwanag mo, hombre. I explained that if he would just wait a little longer, my back pay would come in. The attorney for Mr. Fargas made it clear that his client was within his rights and that he was entitled to the land as payment. Nothing I had to say helped. Fargas wanted us off what he now considered his land. I tried appealing to his sense of justice. I explained that this was all we had left, the back pay. In just a few weeks, I would have it. Na mabuti pa, pag hindi rin lang ninyo kami bibigyan ng pagkakataon, ay eh lumayas na kayo at baka mapatay ko lang ngayon. Fargas' attorney tried stopping me. It took a lot to keep from hitting him. Mr. Fargas, inuulit ko sa inyo. Bigyan na ninyo kami na isang pagkakataon nang maiwasan na natin itong lahat ng sama ng loob at gulo. Sandali lang. Mr. Fargas... Inay, pabayaan ninyo sa hukuman na tayong mag-usap. Mr. Fargas, sandali po lamang. Ano pa? Nakikiusap po pa sa inyo, huwag ninyong kukulin ang lupa namin. Maawa po kayo sa amin, bigyan pa ninyo kami ng kaunting panahon. Inay, huwag na kayo makiusap sa kanya. Total walang puso yan, tao yan. Sa so, hukuman na tayo makipag-usap. Eh, parang talo na tayo, anak. So, pakito na tayong ibubugol sa abogado. Pagyan mo ako makiusap. Mr. Fargas, tiklop tuhod ko pong humihingi sa inyo ng awa. Bigyan ninyo kami ng panahon. Ito pong lupa at bahay na ito, para sa aking maanak. Mother insisted on pleading with Fargas. But he stood firm, and as she grew excited and desperate, Fargas finally decided to leave. She hung on and he pushed her away. And that was all I could take. That was all. Ang 
I don't know what came over me. What really made me hit Fargus? Training and mother were worried. They expected Fargus to come back with the police. I tried to stay calm, to reason things out. After Maxi met the family, he gave me the facts. I had no more pay coming. He insisted that the government had cheated all of us, that even he was cheated, in spite of their promises, in spite of the fighting we did. The past was dead and our fight forgotten. Maxi insisted that there was only one thing left for people like us to do, fight back. Join the rest in the hills and fight for our rights. Magiging malaking katulungan para sa akin. Ang ibig mo sabihin eh, ikaw eh, ho? Sa nga lang na yun, yan ang aming tatak. Ngunit higit sa lahat ay isang tunay na Pilipino. At kung ikaw, Karding, ay may paniniwala sa isang bagay, ay kinakailangan magkaroon ka ng lakas ng loob na maipagtanggol ang paniniwala niyan. Hinahamong kita ngayon. Sumama ka sa aming Karding. Ngunit, Hindi ko may iiwanan na aking tahanan. Tahanan pa bang tawag ngayon sa isang bahay na hindi niyo matirang lupang hindi masaka? Isip-isipin mo lang. Hey! Kante! Manuel came in. Vargas had been badly hurt and the police were on their way to our house. Ikaw ay tatataka ng isang kriminal. Kailangan ko makatakas. Ngunit tanggapin kaya ko na yung mga kasamahan. Nakahanda akong panindigan ng tunay mong karapatan kading. Maxi insisted I join him in the hills, become a hook and fight. Manuel condemned his idea as wrong. He called the hooks murderers, cutthroats. I couldn't see leaving my home, my wife, my child. Ay, nalalaman kong wasto. Ikaw lang bahala. 
Paano kayo inay? Kami nang bahalang humanap ng ibang bahay na matitiran. Ngunit umalis ka na lamang, Cardin. But Maxie had made it clear. I had no home. And if I stayed now, I'd be picked up like a criminal. Fargus had seen to that. Maxie was right. He had always been right. I decided to leave with him, to go to the hills, to join my old friends and fight for my rights. Yan ang ilang bagay na nais matutuhan ninyo ng Central Committee. Kaya kayo nariritong lahat. Is that all, Mark? Yeah, thanks. The People's Liberation Army will, through revolution, build a true socialist order, controlled and administrated by the people. Translator, will you? What is it? Somebody's coming. Who? Friend. Yeah. It's Maxi. Maxi! Max! Come on, Kalita. I want you to meet Carding. Bautista! But. Glad to meet you, Bautista. Glad to have you with us. Never thought I would. Uh... You've got a lot to learn, my friend. Over here, we think of only one thing, the cause. I, I'd like you to meet my wife, Lita. Kumusta kayo? Pinagagalak pong makakilala kayo. Karding ba ikaw ang pangalan niya? Mm-hmm. Kung mga ngailangan ng mahabang panahon upang maunuan ang lubusan ng aming patakaran dito. Kaya nga ako na pa rito. Upang matuto. That's all right, Mac. <laughs> That's good. That's great. <laughs> uh, I'll go over and see Tia Dosio. Okay. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Hey, Maxie! Hey, Pete! <laughs> Lippy just got in. He's coming in to report. Maxi brought in two new men. Good. At pati ko Jesus, ha? Nakita mo na, di tama sinabi ko sa'yo na makakatagpo mo rito ang dati mo mong kasama. Para sa'yo ng dati, ano? Gaya ng dati. Ito nga takay magre-report. Mabuti siya mo na takay sa'kin. But he's still alive. Boy, what was he? Boy, pa. Maybe we could bring him in, make an example out of him. You got a good point there, Mac. Do you continue your life? Tali nyo rito at kami natin siyang huwaran. Okay. Tali lang, ha? Just... 
Theodosia. Oh, Maxi. And in the long bagong kusama. Maxi assured Theodosia that we were top men. Felipe told him that we had all fought together during the war. Mare pala tinasabi ng dalong yan? Sinamo kan, di ba? Mare ko pandahin ang dalong yan sa pagpunta ko ka ng Vicente. Oo. Mga karancho ko yan eh. At nang may pakilala mo tuloy sa kanila ang ating patakaran dito. Felipe requested that we be sent with him on the raid. Theodosia seemed to like this idea and we left with Felipe. Bakit naman pinasama mo kagad? It's too early to let them go, ma'am. I think you'll fit in fine. Ang tungkulin mo ay humanap ng mga bagong kasapit. But leave the training to Mac and me. Nasabi ko na kami. Magkagawa niyo sa akin, ngunit mabayaan niyo ang aking pamilya. Walang gagawin ng pamilya mo. Ikaw ang kailangan namin. Wala kayo may susumbat sa akin, wala! Sa mga katulad ay hindi ka tutulong na sumama sa amin sa bundok. Sa sama? Sa bundok? Oo. Oh. Merong gustong malaman si Teodosia tungkol sa isang taong taksil na pinahamak ang isa namin kasama. Wala akong nalalaman dyan. Maniwala kayo sa akin, wala akong nalalaman dyan. Vicente was desperate. He knew the fate that awaited him as a traitor to the Hook movement, as an informer. He didn't want to be taken back to camp. He trusted no one.
natin yung ginawa ito. Hindi sana sa nagtangal ng makbo, sir. Hindi ba ninyo nalalaman ang order sa akin? Tapakas, sir. Pabibinis magsikilo sa mga bata mo, Pilipe. Saan sila natuto niya? Tayo na! Miling was a hook runner who was sent to inform Felipe that he and his men were needed in a major raid taking place in another part of the province. We were to return to camp with Miling. As a former guerrilla, I couldn't help but admire the thoroughness of the hook movement. Okay, boys, let's go. Kaya ito na po rito, ayaw pang maalaman kung kalagayan ng inang. Ang dati rin karamdaman ang tinataglay ng inang. At ang kanyang pangungulila sa'yo, umuwi ka na raw. Sabihin niyo sa kanya na hindi na ako makakauro ngayon. Naging lubhang mahigpitan ang tugis namin ng mga PC. At kami malapit ang magtagumpay. Kung ipakiusap ko ba siyong sumuko ka na bilang kapatid na katatanda sa'yo, paunlakan mo kaya ako. I was now a full-fledged commander. A well-trained hook. I believed in what the leader said about this cause and that it was my duty to serve the hook movement. For to me, it meant helping my people. That's what they taught me in the hills. That's why I couldn't go home, in spite of training's pleading and Manuel's reasoning. I loved training. I tried to explain on our occasional meetings that I was doing all this for her and my child. 
I wanted her to understand, to try to understand. led to another, month after month after month. Sabi ako na pa rito kagad. Narito ko bang tao ang masasabi sa atin kung saan natin mahuhuli si Commander Bautista? Andi dito. Ngunit nagdadasal pa. malagay sa aking kalagayang kapitan. Anong inyong gagawin? Mapipilitan akong ibigay ko siya sa pamahalaan. Alang-alang sa ikapapayapa ng bayan at alang-alang din naman sa kanyang sariling katahimikan. Anayos ko po lamang sana mangyari. Eh huwag naman sanang ipalagay ng aking kapatid na siya aking pinagtaksila. Hindi naman makakagayon. Pagkat ang lahat ng ito eh, ay sa kanyang kabutihan din. Sana ito matatikpuan si Commander Bautista. Eh... Yeah. Doon po sa aming bukid, mamayang hapon. Natitiyak mo? Opo. Sapagkat nagpasabi ako sa kanyang malubhang amin na... Natitiyak mong siya'y paparon? Pupunta po. Sapagkat hindi... I never really believed that Manuel meant to give me away. To betray his own flesh and blood. He was a good man, a simple farmer who believed in the earth, who wanted to do the right thing. Placing his faith in God, putting his trust in the belief that thou shalt not kill, that to kill was a sin, Manuel had the Padres send for the PCs. He knew that I would be visiting our mother, for she was on her deathbed. Training had sent word to me, and Manuel decided to have me taken. He wanted to save me from the hooks before it was too late. And after he had made the PCs promise to take me alive, he gave me away. Maraming salamat, papatid. Tama ang iyong ginawa, no? Tutum. Salamat, papatid. Nay, mamaya ako ng kaunti ay dadating ng huling gatas sa sariwa. Gatas? Oho. Lord! 
To see my mother this way was more than I could stand. Inai. Anako. Ardeen. Sinasabi ko na nga ba't darating ka na? Lagi kitang inihintay. Lagi akong nagdarasan. Narito na ako ngayon, Inai. Makakapagpahinga na kayo. Pilitin niyo magpahinga nang kayo gumaling. Oo, oh, anak. Mabaya pa na ako ngayon. Karte, huwag ka nang umalis. Tumito ka nang muli sa ating pamamahay. Alang-alang sa ating anak at kay Inan. Pamamahay? Tinatawag mo ba ito isang pamamahay? Hindi, Trini. Ipaglalabang ko ang aking paniniwala. Marami kong natutuwa sa mundo. Ang katunayan ay... Ako isang commander na ngayon. Darating ang araw. Nagiging hawa rin ating buhay. Si baby. Nandiyan natutulog. I had to get away. In spite of their pleading, I had to hide. I could hear Trining trying to deny the fact that I was there. I heard Manuel speak up and Trining stop him. Manuel! What's going on with him? I wanted to fight it out, but when mother's voice rang out pleading with me, I had to come out. I had to give up. Inai. 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 This was Manuel's fault. Her death was his doing. His and the PCs. The thought almost drove me mad with rage. Kailangan sumama ka sa akin. Oo. Sasama ako sa inyo. Tayo. Tayo. Sandali ho lamang. Nakita naman ninyong namatay ang aking ina. Tayo. Thank you. 
Ang tahong ay mapipilit ang bumarun pag tuwa ay nagtang ang tumakas. Ngunit ang pinag-usapan natin, hindi mo siya pipisilain. Kung siya isusuko, ngunit sa ganitong parane, siya'y mapaparin. Kerting! Kerting! Subukan hey, na ba 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 sa amin? Huwag ka lalapit ni. You have your orders, men! This man tries to leave fire! Teka natin. Teka! As I used the captain for a shield and worked my way in among the corn, I could hear Manuel pleading that they had promised to take me alive. As I ran for my life, I could hear Manuel shouting, trying to prevent them from shooting. Walk! Walk! All right, All right. Walk! 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 Hindi namin sinasadya. Leo, pare. Nakatakas pa sa training? Oo, mahalin. Nakatakas yan. Salamat sa Diyos. Maral. Pinatatawad niya ako. Maral. Maxi, napakaraming kawal. Ang nasa guba namin. Marami ng taong namamatay. Marami namang sibilyang namamatay. Ang bubuti ito malilisit tayo. Hindi. Doon tayo! Dali mo sige! Saan na loob? Hindi kayo na kaya. Pakikiusap mo kami sa inyo. This was Jesus' family. My wife's family. They tried to make Maxi understand that their son was one of them. A hook like Maxi. But it did no good. Maxi didn't care. He thought only of himself. Felipe couldn't stand any more killing. He called Maxi a murderer. He denounced the hooks. He suddenly realized that he was wrong, that all this killing, this whole rotten scheme of things was working against his own people. There was only one thing to do, and Felipe did it. Maxi reported that Felipe had surrendered, but that he had managed to wipe out most of Santa Maria. Jesus, suddenly realizing that his home barrio was raided, became desperate with fear over the safety of his family.
these are the problems. Bernie! What shall we do now? The match. No matter what happens, you, you go with the rest. Don't worry about me. I'll follow you later. What about you? Please, Lita, just listen to me. Go with the rest. Hurry up. Go ahead, please. Bella, Lita. Goodbye. I said, Bob, Mr. Humpties! I'm doing the best I can! Watch out! I'm, watch out! I can't see without my glasses. I, my glasses, Theo. Hello? I, I can't see without my glasses. I, I, my glasses, I, I can't yeah. see without them. I can't see without them. Can you see now? Get up! Move up! Pinasok kami ng mga kasamahan ninyo. Ang nanay at ang tatay. O, ano? Jesus, kasama sa mga nasawi sa bayan ay ang ating mga magulang. Learning from training that his family was killed by the hooks, Jesus broke down. Ang pinakikiusap ko sa iyo, sumuko ka na. Ang bagay na ito hindi hahantong sa mabuti. At ang isa pa ang panyang ito'y ligid na ligid na ng mga PC, kaya't sumuko ka na. Alang-alang malamang ko kami hitaan eh. Nilalandam ko, Trineng. Ngunit, lubhang mahigpitan ang labanan ngayon. Hindi ako maalis sumuko. Karting, mga PC na yan. Sumuko ka na. Sumuko ka na, Karting. Hindi mo pa ba naman nakikita at mga dugot naman na... But in spite of Trineng's pleading, I could think of only one thing. Escape. Escape to me was the only way out. To run was my only thought. Nilalandam ko, Trineng. Jesus, pigilin mo siya! Vista is here now, sir. Good. Vista is here, Vista. Thank you, sir. Cardin. Then? Okay. Vista, take your time. Ano yung kasi? 
Bakit siya Jesus pa nagpahamak sa akin? Bakit siya pa bumalik sa akin? Huwag siyang bigyan mo ng sana, Cardin. At sino pang ibig mong bigyan ko ng sana? Ang bigyan mo ng sana ang pagsunod niya sa akin na ikaw ay pigilin upang huwag mo na kaming lisanin. Training tried reasoning with me, tried justifying Jesus, tried explaining that he was mad with grief, that she didn't blame me for her parents' death, that she understood that she had come to help me. But now I didn't want any help. My mind was confused, filled with hate. She explained that the army board was now reviewing my record, that they would be fair and give me a chance to prove myself a true Filipino. All these things meant nothing to me. Nothing. She insisted that I speak to Jesus. That if I didn't forgive him, he would never get well. That I should help him. That by helping him, I'd be helping myself. All right, all right, I had enough. In my confusion, I didn't care. All I could think of was that I was betrayed by a boy whom I thought of as a brother. And that this boy had shot me down. admitted to believing in the Communist Manifesto. But you have admitted to being a hope. Now I would like to understand your point of view. I never considered the hopes communist. I always considered them as my fellow countrymen. That's all. Your record is clean. We have no charges against you. If given a chance to start a new life, to work your life, to raise your family under the democratic principles. Would you accept the offer? That's what I thought I was fighting. It's all I ever want. But would you change your mind about the hope movement? I I don't know, sir. I have to try it first. See if it works. You see, Bautista, we feel that you're the kind of a man that will give it a chance to work. Especially with the excellent recommendation of our fellow officer, Captain Mendoza, of the military area where you were captured. The Army has a project called EDCOR. 
There, you'll be given a chance to live among settlers with your family. Do you want to go? Uh, I'll try, sir. My pleasure, Batista. Thank you, sir. Cardin. Edcor. Edcor meant nothing to me. Yet here we were, starting on a trip that promised a new way of life for myself, my family, and Jesus when he had recovered. Edcor, they said, was a community of settlers all working together, working to build the kind of life we had fought for in the hills, or at least we thought we had been fighting for. It sounded good, too good to be true. Yet, I wanted to give it a chance. We had arrived at Mindanao. This was to be our beginning. Training tried convincing me that the future was up to us now. And I think there was something inside of me that understood and made me believe that she was right.
Kaibigan, na kasama ko rito sa EDCOR. Ako ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo ng marami. There was so much I wanted to say. So much I was grateful for. Wala akong masasabi kung... I thank them for their trust in me. And I promise to do my best to remain worthy of their faith in me. Upang matumbasan ko ang pagtitiwala ninyo sa akin. Marami salamat po. Oo nga, no? Talagang dumadamin tayo rito. Maxi's sudden appearance at Ed Cor was a shock. Of all people, I never expected to see him again. Ang hirap sa'yo, komrad, eh. Madali kang makalimot, eh. Yung pilat mo sa iyong muka. Maxi had always been sure of himself. He got into Ed Kors as stabilizer. They never suspected that he was a leading hook. He still spoke revolution. He reminded me of the past, of the debt I owed the hooks who gave me a hand when I was helpless. Maxi was here to destroy Ed Kors. To use me and the rest as a means towards that end. Subalit ito ay tunay. Dito, meron akong bigas, lupa, bahay, tahanan. At higit sa lahat ay ang kaalaman na ako'y nabibilang na ngayon sa mga taong may puri at dahan. Dito, Meron ako simbahang dalang ina. Meron isang para lang para sa aking anak. I tried to make him understand. To understand that this was real. Real land. Rice. That I had gained a home and self-respect. That now I had a church to pray in. And a school in which my child could learn and grow into manhood without fear. Ah, isang malaking kabulanan. At nahikayat ka naman sa magandang ipinakita sa'yo dito sa tampa ka ng mga hook na ipinatalo ang kanilang sariling kalaoban. Kung hindi kita nakikilala ka din, ay tatawagin kita isang mangmang. Isang duwag! Isang duwag ka mo? Maxi reacted with contempt. 
He insisted that Edgar was a scheme to destroy the Hook movement, and that then the army would leave us here in the jungles to rot. Bakit hindi natin bigyan ng isang magandang pagkakataon ng Edgar upang may pakilala sa atin kung gaano kalinis at kung gaano kadakila ang kanilang adikahin sa atin? Ano, Maxi? Adikahin. I wanted him to give it a chance. I wanted him this way to pay him back for the great debt I owed him. If Edgar didn't work, if all this was false, then I felt I'd lost faith in mankind. Maxi must have sensed my confusion. He appealed to our past friendship, reminded me that I spent seven years in the hills fighting and was now ready to give up the whole cause after only eight months at Ed's Corps. Eight months as against seven years. And the scar on my face. He reminded me of that too. He insisted that I give him this chance to prove that he was right. That with my help we could both do more for the cause now than we had at any other time. I wanted time to think things over. But Maxi pressed me. Asked for my faith in him to show itself. I owed him that much. Seven years against eight months. Perhaps he was right. Perhaps all this was really a trap. I began to think. <laughs> Maybe it was a trap. Tinanong kung dito kita kausapin sapagkat hindi ko ibig malaman ng mga mamayan dito. Ano sasabihin ko sa iyo? Huwag ka na magpaligoy, ligoy. Diretso mo na. Ano ibig mo sabihin? Ang tukol kay Maxi. Ano ang tukol kay Maxi? Si Maxi ay isang... Stabilizer. <laughs> Nagkakamali ka. Nagpunta rito si Maxi upang simula ng dating adhikain na kanyang pinasimula noong araw. At yan ang ibig niyang pairalin ngayon. Pe, utang na loob. Huwag mo kong pakialaman. Ano lamang kong ginagawa ko? Baka lang pati ikaw ay masaktan. Kardi, mahalin mo nga akong masaktan. Sapagkat ikaw ay mahal sa akin. Subalit dapat mong malaman na ginagawa ko ito sa kapakanan mo rin. Hindi ba nakita ang ating maunlad na pamuhi dito? At... Saan mo dadali ng pagtitiwalang nilagak sa'yo ng mga tao? Ano bang kung saan-saan dadali ng sinasabi mo? Basta itong tandaan mo, huwag mo kong pakialaman. Nalalaman ko ang ginagawa ko. Tapos ang salitaan. Ano pa? Ang ulit mo eh. Kardin, kung hindi ka magbabago ng paniniwala, ay mapipilitan akong miski saan mong para, ay para tingin ito sa namamahala dito sa atin. Be! Inuulit ko sa'yo. Huwag kang gagawa ng masama. Bang, utang na loob. Hindi ko sana ibig na tayo magkasapatan pa. Kardi, ako hindi madaling takti. At alang Felipe alang made it clear that if I didn't do something about Maxi, he would. I warned him to mind his own business unless he wanted to get hurt. Felipe reminded me that he was afraid of nothing. Warned me again and left. Ang mabuti training, eh kayo nalang dana yung magpunta sa party. Training felt that there was something wrong. She also knew that Maxi was up to something, something destructive.
Bakit ka na naman hindi sasama? Dahil na naman kay Maxie, ano? She thought I had changed since Maxie arrived. I tried holding her off, but training was fearful that this new life of ours would be destroyed. She considered that now we were free after years in the hills. That I owed a greater debt to Edcor than I could ever owe any man, even Maxi. I had enough. My mind was set. I wanted people to stop pushing me. Ang araw na ito na dispitas ng Pasko, eh, iukulan natin sa katahimikan at kapayapaan. Kaya na lamang ni Danny pumunta sa party. Mari ba? Hindi. Napapanahon na upang harapin mo ang katotohanan. Karting, nagpunta tayo rito ng marinis ang ating buti. At ipagpatuloy natin ang paninalig at paniniwala nilang yang tayo hindi nagbabago sapagkat sila hindi pa nagkukulang sa atin. Ano ba pinagsasabi mo? Wala pa namang nangyayari ah. Wala na. Ngunit kayo mangyayari. Training took a strong and desperate stand. She wanted our child to grow up with a future. She didn't want to wake up one morning in fear and find that he had left for the hills. Or dead like her family. Or a raving fool like Jesus. Kaya magpari sa kay Jesus na nawala ng isip. Kaya pinakikiusap ko sa'yo. Karting, huwag mong pabayaang mataray ka ni Maxi. At ipinahihiwatig ko sa'yo ito. Kung magpapatuloy ka ng pagsama sa kanya, ay hindi na ako makapagpapatuloy pa ng pakikisama sa'yo. Inuulit ko sa'yo, Karting. Minamahal kita. Ngunit hindi ko maaaring pabayaang mawasak niya ang ating tahanan. Kaya... Training had come to a decision. I had to choose between life with her or one with Maxi and the cause. Danny, tayo na. Hindi ninyo ang sasabihin ko. Guardhouse, signal center, armory, barracks, headquarters, at ito ang simbahan. Sapagkat ang karamihan sa mga tao ay natitipon dito, at konti lamang kawalang nanalabi dito sa signal center at dito sa barracks, kung tayo maglalagay ng masinggan dito, at saka dito, ay ating ang buong kampo. Group 1, sa guardhouse. Group 2, signal center. Group 3, ikaw ang sasama sa akin upang pumasok sa loob ng armory. Ako, Maxi, anong gagawin ko? Ikaw ay walang gagawin kundi sumama sa akin upang pumasok sa loob ng armory. At kung makuha na natin, gagamitin ba natin? Oo, oh, anak ko. Ngunit kung sumugod pa rin sila. Pag nagkamali sila, sumugod ay lipulin natin lahat. Lahat! At ibang mga tao? Lahat! Tayo na! Felipe wanted to know where Maxi was. I told him to find out for himself. He moved away. I knew he would go to the captain, that he would try warning him about Maxi's true purpose. But there was nothing I could do to stop him now. Eh, mas mamangyayari ngayon. Bakit ka nagsalitang ganyan? Sa pagkatsikad din ay kasabot ni Max. Anong ibig mong sabihin? Tingnan ninyo. Sa mga aking hinala, si Max at iba niya mga kasama na iyo, wala rito ngayon. O ngayon, si Max ay isang masamang tao. Natiti ako mo kaya siya pumunta rito sa Edgar ay upang masakin ang bayang ito. Narinig ko ang kalang pag-uusap. Nasa panig nila si Karding. Paniwala ninyo. Mahirap kong paniwalaan tungkol kay Karding. Ngunit, Kapitan, yan ang buong katotohanan. Si Vax ay isang leader ng mga hook. 
You know what to do, Philippe, I don't want to panic the people for something that might turn out wrong. Oh. <laughs> Captain! Yes, sir? Go to the guest house. Phone signal and have them locate. Maxi and bring him here fast. Yes, sir. Maxi was mad with power, with hate and desire to destroy. He insisted that there were no ex-hooks, only dead ones. He threatened to clean the place out unless the army surrendered. He warned the settlers that if they didn't join him, they'd die for nothing. He used me as an example of a real hook, me, their own mayor. I could stand this no longer. Hold your fire, man! Maxi thanked me for saving his life, and I told him I was happy I had squared that debt. 
He was now at the height of his glory. I insisted on using the machine gun. Remember, Maxie, how I used to use the machine gun? This was like old times to Maxie. So as I got into position, he raved on, threatening to destroy them all, to show them all what the hooks were like, what they were really like. Kill! Kill! That's all he could think of. Kill! Maxie was stunned. He pleaded desperately. In the name of our friendship, the hooks, the cause, I held fast, thinking only of what men like Maxie had done to my life and the lives of thousands of men like me. I could think only of training and my child. As he pleaded, I saw him for what he was, for the lie which he represented. This was not a man, a human being, but a fanatic, a disease of destruction that must be destroyed. This I knew. Men like Maxi would use me no longer. That the hooks were wrong, misguided. Men who were being led by traitors, used to destroy our freedom. As I walked away, I knew I was not alone. That I had found the truth. Edcor was our hope in the future. It must work. And I was in this moment determined to give it a chance.